This story is about a husband and wife couple who lived in a village in Tulu Nadu. This husband of mine is either always quarreling with me or eating. This wife of mine is either fighting with me or being lazy or dead. Wife what do you want now? Get me some beetle nut. Here, take. Oh dear, the chunnam was actually droppings of a heron bird. A few days later, she complained of great uneasiness. I'm not feeling well. So, a grand, wonderful bayake was held for the wife, where she was showered with a lot of love and blessings. On the day of her delivery, she gave birth to a heron bird. Oh no! Other mothers give birth to human babies. I gave birth to a bird. Goodness, what's wrong with me? But the wife continued to be aggrieved. No wife, no. Do not grieve over it. Whatever it is, however it is, whoever it is, it is our child. We must take care of it. We must be the best parents that we can. You are right, husband. Oh, husband, I have to go and attend a wedding. How can I take our son with us? What will people say? <coughs> Worry not, dear wife. Take him along with you. And both of you, enjoy the wedding. Enjoy the festivities. <laughs> and so that's what she did. She carried along the baby heron bird with her and went to the wedding. At the wedding, everyone was very excited and happy to see her and the baby bird. As she spent her time greeting the guests and helping at the kitchen, the bird sat obediently next to her. And when she was not looking, the bird picked the seeds from the cucumber slices and flew away. The mother didn't know where he went. Mother, using the cucumber seeds, I have built a wonderful house for you and father, where all of us can stay happily together. I will take both you and father along with me. Come! But son, how can you do that? You are a bird. We are human beings. How can you carry us? Oh, mother, you sit on my left wing and father will sit on my right wing and then I will fly away with both of you. Well, if your father agrees, we can go. And so the heron bird flew to the father and broke the good news and shared the travel plan. I, I agree with your mother. <laughs> Uh, how can you carry us? Once again, the bird convinced his father about how he can fly with both of them on his wings. You 
are confident that she is willing then. Well, let us go. And so the bird flew with its mother on its left wing and father on its right wing. Oh, father and mother, I am so delighted that you both have loved this house. But mother dear, there is one request. Please never ever give away any vegetable or fruit from our garden, because if you do, at that very moment, I will die. Sure, son, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, daughter. I have not eaten anything for the last 10 days. I am so hungry. I am miserable with hunger. Have some mercy on me. Give me one cucumber. You have fresh cucumbers in me. One cucumber for me, daughter. The mother was in distress. She very much wanted to help that old woman. But her son's words were also playing on her mind. What could she do? She thought about it and then felt, well, it's just one cucumber. What will he know? Let me pluck and give it. Daughter, thank you so much. God bless you. Bless you, God. Thank you. What she saw next amazed her. Now, no longer was there a bird, but a handsome young lad of 18 standing before her eyes. 